Good afternoon, Paul here from Mental Health Motorbike. Uh, so, sorry about the not posting a video on Saturday, uh, not keeping up to the weekly ramble bit. But yeah, I was away sort of working, uh, so the day job took me away. I was doing an international programme and what was really interesting, mental health is so much on the agenda. People, particularly young people's mental health is going through the roof. And we got talking about mental health motorbike, even though it's a very different sort of program we were doing. And what emerged is the connection with Speedway. So I was working with a, a very good friend of mine from Lublin, and they've just won the national Speedway Championships over in Lublin last year. And obviously uh, they, they're working with young people. I also spoke to the guys that run uh, the, the mental health motorbike. They look after it for me, uh, Dave. Sean down at SD Motorcycles and Dave actually knows Sheffield Speedway very well and then we talked to Mary over at Thornycroft and we met the guys from Bellevue Aces so what's coming up is Speedway there's so many connections to Speedway so watch this space maybe there's a very interesting mental health project which goes international wouldn't that be good Anyway, uh, just catch up really, we are approaching this year nearly 200 mental health first aiders trained. So bearing in mind we've already trained 151 and before that we're approaching that magic 350 which is incredible when you consider it's a 15 hour course valued at around about £325 a course and the charity has subsidised so many people through that. It started off in the early days with Andy, he actually supported so many of the courses uh, as he was our trainer then and then this, this year we took a decision to subsidise them. So we, we're doing alright, 350, you know, I never thought it would be possible but it makes me very very uh, proud to be part of this and this only happens because people put hard work in. So that hard work has sadly not been me, it's, I've worked with Karen a little bit but Karen's the driving force behind this she's made it all happen so thank you Karen thank you Leanne for sorting out the induction training and the welfare sort of uh, support on the mental health first aid courses she's created the rotor for that to make sure that we've got some some good welfare people in place in case people go through any any issues that trigger them so it's been a great team effort. I've worked with Karen on the mental health first aid inductions and they're always really nice to see the people that we've trained and meet the people we've trained. So yeah, I'm feeling particularly sort of proud that we've got to this stage. Really, really good. So this week we've got a busy week. Uh, so we're down at Castle Coombe for the weekend. Uh, we've got the North Gloucester Road racing, uh, racing down there. And we've been invited to go and do some fundraising, so we're looking forward to meeting with Steve and Jackie and the whole team and some of the mental health first aiders that we've been training. So it's a really exciting sort of time to be uh, sort of out at events when we meet the people we've been training. Uh, so what else? We've got Mark, he's going to be at the Staffordshire Classic Bike Show. So we've got a big event there this weekend as well with Thorny Crofts. So amazing thanks again to Thorny Crofts for making this happen. Uh, hopefully we'll see the dot bike gang over there as well. So again, loads of activities. So there is time. If you want to be involved with Castle Coombe over the weekend or Staffordshire Bike Show, just give me a ring and we'll see if we can sort you some tickets out. What else has been happening? Yeah, we talked about the mental health first aid inductions. What we're actually getting as a result of that, we're getting lots of people coming through and volunteering. So at the moment we are finalising the regional coordinators and we will be sending out emails this week and arranging meetings with those coordinators. Once we get the regional coordinators in place we'll be able to pick up all of the people that have volunteered to work with us. So if you're one of those people that's volunteered just hold tight. You should have had an email saying that we will, won't be rushing to get in touch with you but we don't obviously want to lose you. Our charity revolves around volunteers but we want to be able to get you into the right volunteering post so you can obviously maximise the use of your time. So to just bear with us on the volunteers. Uh, we will we'll be there very, very shortly. And another thing, on Wednesday, 
Yeah, this will be a good one actually. I'm meeting Matt and Reese from the Sidecar guys, the guys behind the Armchair Adventure Festival, the guys that have just made so much magic happen for so many people through their, their Armchair Adventure, Adventure Festival films. And just anybody that meets Matt, Matt and Reese, you will know that they are very, very funny guys, but also really, really good at empowering others. So we are meeting with them in North East Derbyshire with a whole team of, of ours, uh, our volunteers. And we're probably going to go around Hardwick Hall and do some filming. So they're doing a UK sort of tour that looks at how people use motorbikes. Obviously they're in the sidecar, so I'm looking forward to having a, a ride in the sidecar. My bike's still in the garage, so you cannot, cannot believe how frustrated I am. We've got nice weather and I am literally sort of stuck without a bike. Oh my God, it's been hard. But they've told me at the garage the, the fault is fixable and they, we should have it ready this week. Not in time for the filming, sadly. So, you know, how are we going to manage that sort of process? We'll be, we just need to be creative. So, yeah, looking forward to that on Wednesday. So that's about it, really, on the catch-up. Uh, we're all very, very positive. We're sad not to be at the British Superbikes, but, I mean, we're not ruling out hope that we'll get there very soon. It's just so expensive, you know, for us to get there. And until we can get the, the right sort of support and the fundraising in place, we, w we won't make it happen. And there's a lot of goodwill for us to be there. There's lots of teams that we know that want us to be there. But if you're wanting to see us at British Superbikes, don't worry. We'll, we'll try and make it happen as soon as possible. All right, well, uh, thanks, everybody. Hope you're having a great week, and we'll, uh, we'll catch up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.